So, welcome back. Um, this is actually episode two of the Flockdown series. Um, the Flockdown series is basically um, a 30 minute video trying to keep it at a minimum of 30 minutes if it goes a bit longer than that's okay but basically um it's all about trying to keep you guys entertained um why a large amount of you guys are in lockdown it's actually incredible the amount of comments that are actually going down there in the comment section saying i'm in lockdown you know it's crazy and i <clears throat> We haven't got to lockdown yet, but I really think we're one to two weeks away before that happens. Um, we went into stage two, I think, yesterday, which is pretty much most of um, things shutting, like daycares, pretty much everything, like hair salons and all that type of stuff is going to start shutting down in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever it is. Um, no essential actually no non-essential travel it's all going to be you know basically you can go to work go to school um and go down to shops and get some food and that's it so that's basically all we're allowed to do at the moment um it's getting pretty serious we're getting um in my city we're getting about 30 new cases confirmed cases of coronavirus every day which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things um when you look at other countries you know there's some you know a lot more than that so it's not bad considering the population of the city where I am is about two to two and a half million people. So, yeah, at the point now where it's not too bad, hopefully it stays like that and we should be able to handle it, our healthcare system here in Western Australia. Um, but I know in places like Sydney and Melbourne, it's, you know, it's going out of control. We've got like a thousand confirmed cases now in Sydney. So, um, you know, everyone stay safe. Um, Everyone needs to do their part, stay home, stay away from everything, you know, just for a few weeks, like whatever it is, let's do what we need to do, you know, as a whole planet, let's just do it. But, um, you know, I'm doing my part, staying home and making videos for you guys that don't have pigeons or whatever. But um, <clears throat> I actually went out to the block before I had to do a final inspection and sign that um, so we can get settlement through before we actually go into lockdown so i went out there um i'll drop the link down below um i made a video it's on my other channel mania state um actually went onto the property had a bit more of a look um and also sort of picked out some areas that might be good to put the pigeon lofts so if you're interested in seeing where the pigeon lofts will be i don't know a time frame at the moment because everything is just crazy um but yeah jump over there have a look at that link um subscribe to that channel too because if you like this content, then you're definitely going to like the content that's on there because it's going to be crazy when we eventually get there. But you can see today I've been um, prepping all my chainsaw gear um, so I can get out there and start clearing it, um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, but we'll see. But let's get into the pigeon side of things. That's enough of that. But um, go down and have a look at that video in the description. So what we're going to do today is we need to disinfect all those bowls and that we've got laying around i've just been sort of hoarding them up a bit um until i've got enough to do a whole batch so basically what i use to disinfect them i soak them in vercon s um i just got this little tub from the local pigeon shop um this stuff is magic it's probably one of the best disinfectants um it kills everything so i wonder if this kills coronavirus might have to keep an eye on that one that's it kills a lot of things so um what i might do is load up one of these tubs get some of this powder in there um, and then start soaking all the products that we've got little pigeon things i usually just use these tubs but um i'll grab one of them take it out there and um we'll start soaking it Give all these a bit of a clean because they won't be used in a while. That's what I use to hold those nest liners down with. Um, might get one in there. 
put some in here and where's my work on this here it is I'll just give it a bit of a sprinkle Right, eh? See, yeah, that's not easy to do one hand. I'll have to leave that in a minute. But that's um, both those tubs filled up. This stuff's quite um, bubbly, actually. Just need to make sure I get everything in there. Um, need to do the water as well, so I might go grab that. Um, but all this is going to soak for an hour or two, just to give it a good clean and dislodge any of the poo and all that kind of stuff. So let's just come back to that later. Feathers everywhere, you're just still molten like crazy. These, both them two nest mates, um, and then I do want to break them ones in, but I might just hold back because I want to break in the actual two older ones, which are Mr. Beast Babies, which is actually those two sitting there. So these two we might try and start breaking in and get them flying around because they're finished molting and they're looking pretty good. I'd say that's a hen and a cock, probably the cock is the closest one there, the one in the middle and I'd say the hen is the one further at the back she's got a bit of a pointy beak and you can see the bit more fancy birds probably come out in her which is probably a mother mother, there's a mum there she's molting at the moment too so she's looking a bit rough that's no way to treat your mother but um, you know, first generation split barless so not too bad um, we could probably look at pairing these two together our brother and sister but they will produce barless so realistically if these two did have babies even one round and they produce one barless and that is good because if we keep that barless and then we can utilize it to breed into these other ones here these two um and then also these two when they're older but um because they have different different fathers so the blood is quite a fair bit different um we can avoid too much inbreeding we can line breed but um i don't really want to do too much inbreeding at all um i just want to get a couple of pure barless and then we can start pushing them in and out of our good race birds which will be all the race birds that are produced from these two these two will be paired up next season or this season actually and they'll i'll probably let them go for four rounds so that'll give us a huge amount of babies to play with um, and then also we'll probably have another three pairs here and they'll all do three or four rounds each. Um, so we're going to have quite a lot of birds given that we can get out onto that block and um, get the loft set up pretty quick. But it all depends on the coronavirus. Um, if we're still here, which I hope we are not, um, we will just restrict the breeding. We'll do a couple of rounds um, and then see if we can get a couple of pure barless out of that but there's quite a lot of fighting going on lately these little young ones here are quite aggressive just don't know what's wrong with them come here come on but these guys are officially in weaning now um, they're only going to get fed once a day you are so aggressive you're gonna be a bit of a problem I think but um, yeah these guys are officially in weaning um, there's only gonna be fed once a day now with the rest of birds in the afternoon um, just to try and wean them off their parents because it is a bit harder because their parents are in here so we just have to be a little bit stricter on them um, 
but these six young birds we got we're going to try and break them in and get them out flying and just see how they go just to see how how good a flies they are but these these two will be the next ones that i will try and break in one i'm just going to let them finish molting a bit more at the moment because they are very scruffy looking so we'll let them come through the molt before we get too crazy we'll probably trap train them um but yeah these two we're going to start trap training maybe today or in tomorrow's episode gosh you're even bossing your dad around that's unreal look at that big fella You're looking a bit rough, I think. You're going to have to have a bit of a break. But um, a lot of these birds are going to start getting medicated. I think she might be struggling a bit, the old girl. So I've been watching her to see if she's still feeding the young birds. I'm pretty sure at this age, the father's the main one that feeds them. Because um, I wouldn't mind giving her one of those respiratory tablets. I'll show you guys them later when we go back in there. Um, if that's something we do need to give her. Because I don't want her to have it and then come and feed the babies and then give them respiratory tablets because they don't need it. But I've got a four in one that will should knock her back into health straight away. They're a fantastic tablet. I've been giving them to some of my friends as well and had some really good success with them. But we'll come in here and do what we're gonna do. We need to take that. So generally this is what I do probably every two weeks. Um, I just kind of wait until I've got enough things like these bowls and stuff like that and then I'll just dip them in there and just move them around a bit to make sure they're all wet because um, it's really good to clean these nest bowls like that ready for next breeding season. You can pretty much get them spotless um, and then also this just let that soak um, and then later on just give it a dip in there when there's some more room and just disinfects everything this is good to make sure you do your water ones at least once a week if you can i try and do it every, at least every two weeks just to keep things um clean but i always give it a rinse every time i fill this up anyway just give it a quick rub down but then i disinfect it every two weeks just to stop too many nasty things um a lot of like diseases in pigeons is passed through the water so it's good to keep on top of that but that's what the stuff called is, is there. It's Vercon S. I think it's made by Japan. It's really good. It generally comes in a bag, not in these little tubs. But I think they broke it down a bit. But this is going to sit there for an hour or two anyway now. So what I'm going to do is get those two older splits. Um, I might actually set them up in that truck and leave them in there for a while. I will take the this out, um, the actual door. 
take that off and slide that out. And I'll just let them in there, they can come in if they want, just for the next day or two. Um, I'll do it a couple of times today. We'll put them in there, um, just so they get used to it, and then I'll take them, leave this open, shut this down, then they can a bit of a free play. Um, but we're sort of trying to get to keep them a little bit hungry so that we can get them in and out and I'll need to call them as well. So they are very undisciplined because I was not planning on actually letting them out. So this could be a little bit difficult until they get into a routine. So I'm going to keep them a bit hungry, try and enforce that routine a lot quicker. They seem to have got the idea of that pretty quick, which is awesome. You can see these things are ready to roll. One pushed through there, but they seem to have got that pretty good. So I probably think that tomorrow we'll let them have a free roam. I'll give them a light feed tonight, those two birds, well all of them basically. Um, and then we might just let them out and see how they go. I don't want them sitting around on roofs um, and all that because pretty much all my neighbours are home at the moment. Um, no one's at work because of this virus thing, so I don't want to them sitting around walking on the roofs and that kind of thing so um, we'll let them have a bit of a break um, and then we'll come back out after once that stuff's ready to be washed and cleaned I'll give them a feed um, and then we'll just probably do that again a couple times and just see how they go oh actually need to charge this battery too um, might take that out later, but this is the battery that runs my light. Um, I'm going to hunt through and get my solar panel because I charge this off the solar. So we'll come back out and sort that one out. That all runs on a light. Little switch there, see? Right, that all should be done. Look how clean that comes up. It's really good, that stuff.
nice and clean. I might just move them all into the sun just so they can dry out. super simple these are all cleaned disinfected um, now I'll just let them dry out in the sun even the UV from the sun is gonna help disinfect them some more um, once they're all dry I'll pack them away um, and then they are ready for next time we need to start breeding which is good um, might head over fill up their water um, and then we might try and trap them a little a couple more times um, and then we've got to feed them as well so Hopefully tomorrow that we can get them out because the weather is looking pretty good. Let's take this and this. Feathers, molting, I hate it. need to give them some food I haven't fed them today I've been feeding them like nearly two of these a day up until today just because I'm making sure that those little babies on the floor are getting plenty of food but now that they are fully feathered under the wing they're getting weaned so it's going to be a bit harder for them but um, you know that's going to help them grow up and be more independent and then well generally that's what you'll do anyway pull them away from their parents at that age but um, I think now we'll give them about half feed which is about half this little cup here at the moment um, and then that's pretty much what they all need to be doing because we need to start breaking some of these birds in getting them flying around
take that training box down we'll put this back on there might put them back in there and call them in when there's some food so what I'll do is I'll just grab them two it's these two here these are the ones we're training and we'll try again It's looking beautiful this one. Come on. Open up this. See if we can get them to come in. Hey, oh, you want to come in? You think you're missing out on some food? Come on. Come on. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. They can sit, they know what's happening right now. So they are like, come on. This is good, all right. Come on. All right, that's good. This is what we want. Come on. Come on. Good job. Come on. It's a little reward for you. Come on. Come on. You can even see the two little chicks down there. There they are. They are eating really well actually I'm, I'm actually surprised how well these little guys are doing um, it even looked like he picked up a bit of wheat there which is um, it's quite good that's one of the birds that just come in see how excited it is it knows it's going to get out for a fly soon that storm she's going to be the mum um, <clears throat> teaching these young ones how to fly, what to do, how to behave outside tomorrow, so that's good. Things are looking good. All our blue bars, and a barless, and a checker. What's wrong with you? Are you scared? You don't want to go outside again? Come on. Why are you being shy? You are going outside tomorrow, whether you like it or not. I don't know what's going on with you. Everyone else is eating. Are you coming down? Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. You just give me attitude now. We'll see who's... I don't know what's wrong with that one, he doesn't want to eat. Oh, come on. Come on.
both of you. What's going on with you two? I don't think they really want to go out tomorrow. You know what? You are going out. You don't have much of a choice. Everyone wants to see us fly. You want a drink? Is that what you want here? Is that what you want a drink? Anyway, that's it for another episode. Um, I hope you are enjoying these longer ones. These are basically a coronavirus special. Um, I might keep going with them after the coronavirus, but for the next few weeks, I'm definitely gonna be trying to make sure that all the videos are as long as possible, um, and also trying not to make them too boring, because it's actually a lot harder than I ever thought to make videos this long and try and keep them reasonably interesting. But, um, you know, a few comments there, people saying that, um, you know, they're good. It's helping them get through their isolation. Um, and, you know, we do what we can. So stay safe, everyone, and until tomorrow, um, just try and, you know, keep positive. We're gonna get through this.